Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. This is badass right here. Thank you. Oh my god. Videos? Oh, oh. Standing here with Terre Foster. How are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What brings you to the Bay State Chapter Truck Show here? Oh, we're just out enjoying uh, all the old antique trucks and brought the uh, bus out. Thought some people might want to check out an old Bluebird bus. That is pretty cool. I was admiring it earlier. What, uh, what can you tell me about your bus? Oh, it's a 1987 Bluebird Wander Lodge. And uh, the Wanda Lodge, was a, it's a motor coach. It was always built as a RV, but it was manufactured by uh, Bluebird. Really? Yeah. yeah. And what do you do with this thing? Uh, this is a, uh, it's just a, a, a toy. It's an RV. Yeah. You take, go, go, go camping with the wife and really? try to enjoy life after uh, working hard in construction all week long. Yeah, is that what you do for a living? Yeah. yeah. You operate, drive? Uh, I have a small construction company. We. We do excavating, we do landscape construction, and we do some trucking. Yeah. So how's, are you for hire? Uh, we are for hire, how's, yes. So how does somebody contact you if they want to hire you? Uh, NewEnglandEnterprises.com in Marlboro is probably the best way okay. to, to, to get in touch with us. Yep. Well, that's cool. Can you show me around your bus? Sure, sure. Call it a bus or you call it a, a motorhome or an RV? Well, I, I, I think the proper terminology is a motor coach. Motor coach. Oh, uh, I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we have to... So call upper it a crust motor coach, here. but I, I, I refer to it as a bus. A bus, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's a uh, like I said, 1987 Bluebird Wanda Lodge motor coach. It's got a 8V92 Detroit diesel. Wow. Uh, Allison automatic transmission. This is the uh, motor in the back. It's a diesel pusher, so the yeah. motor's in the back. It's got a rear tag axle. Uh, this coach is uh, weighs 44,000 pounds. Wow. It holds 300 gallons of diesel fuel. 120 gallons of fresh water. Yep. 100 gallons of black and 100 gallons of gray. And black and gray what? Uh, wastewater. Okay. Gray gray wastewater and black gray uh, wastewater. So of it, you know, like your toilet. Yep. Uh, and then it holds. Uh, it's got like a 45 gallon propane tank. Okay. So that will run the refrigerator, the heaters, uh, and stuff like that. Can you show me uh, some of the cool things on the outside here? Yeah, so you've got uh, you got a slide out storage bin here that's on a, like a roller. Oh wow, that's great! So you can keep all of your uh, chairs and your cooler. Um, was this built originally as a, a motor coach, or was it for always built as a motor coach? Okay, yeah, as a camper, it wasn't a conversion. Uh, Bluebird, you might be familiar with them. They built school buses. Yes. So basically, this body is the same thing that they would have considered a school bus to be. Okay. But they had a motorhome division, so they always they, this one was always outfitted as a motorhome, but it was built on the idea of the the body of a school bus. This is incredible. You've got a slide out grill here. Oh wow. Um, you've got additional storage here. This happens to be my electrical bay yep. where I have my inverter. Sure. I've got my cords. This this bus has solar on it, so okay. this is a solar. Um, oh yeah, I see that. Charge controller. Ooh, and you have the solar panels up there. Yeah. Um, I I installed all that stuff. Wow. And then you've got window awnings. You see these small window awnings that come yep. out. And you've got a main awning up on the top. Okay. Um, you got your drive wheels here. Okay. Your tag axle. So when you say tag, it goes up and down? Yeah, so it doesn't actually lift off of the ground. Okay. But it is airbag controlled. So if you're when you're doing your maneuvers, tight yep. maneuvers, you can take the pressure off of it so it's not scuffing the tire. Wow. Um, but it still rolls on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you've got in here is like your batteries. Yeah. Um, it's got three 
1000 cold cranking amp batteries. This is just to start the start the engine. Mm -hmm. And then in here, it's got six lithium batteries, which just operate the house. Okay. And wow. that's what the solar is recharging so that you can basically go uh, like boondock camping. Yeah. And then you get your AV92 two stroke diesel engine in the back. And you got your ladder. Oh, wow. To get up onto the roof. Yeah. That's great. Uh, a um, couple of the cool things about it is you've got uh, your spare tire up on the roof. Oh, yeah. And they give you a little crane. Oh, yeah. That wow. you can uh, bring that down that with. That is cool. Yeah. Uh, in here, you would have your water fill. Okay. For your fresh water, and this would be your electrical for your shore power. Okay. If you, if you go to a campground, yeah. So you can plug in. And then um, you've got your sewer dump here. Yeah. You've got your sewer hose in here, stored in here, and you've got some uh, air valves that actually open the the valves okay. to dump the sewer in there. Now what's that pipe from for? So now this is, this is for the generator which okay. is which is up front. We'll look at that okay. in a minute. This this bay here I have oh, designated cool. as my tool bay. Yeah. So I got some basic tools and yeah. you know things if you gotta fix anything. you gotta be pretty mechanical doing a uh, a motor coach like this? Uh you need to be somewhat mechanical. I'm not a diesel mechanic, yep. but I can, you know, turn a screwdriver if I need to. You know your so way you, around you, a wrench. Yeah, you need to yep. be able to do some stuff. Yeah. And you need to have the basics with you, otherwise yep. you could be kind of, sure. kind of screwed. Duct tape, screwdrivers, wrenches. Yeah. Yeah. I got mechanic tools in here. I got some carpentry tools on the inside. Okay. I've got, you know, I got, a, I can, I got a jack. I've got the ability to change a tire. Okay. Um, it's got, if you look in there, I don't know if you'll get a good view of it, but it's got an electric compressor, okay. which would double as the, you know, engineer compressor. Yep. So it will run on uh, 120 volts. And then this side here, which I don't think we can get a good view because of the pole, but this is just an extension of the other side. Okay. That tray will okay. roll out. Wow, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, so... Obviously, the inside. Look at all those gauges. This instrument panel up here is all for the generator. Okay. Okay. You've got your oil pressure, water temperature. You've got your volts, your hours. You've got the coach load, the battery. It's a it's a generator that creates two hundred two legs of one ten. So you've got leg one, leg two. Okay. And that when it's running, it will show you what it's actually putting out. And then over there, you've got some, you know, trip odometer and times and elapsed times and... There's more buttons in here than an airplane. Yeah. Uh, one cool thing is it has an altimeter. Oh, yeah. So if you get that dialed in, it'll tell you how many feet above sea level you That's are. pretty crazy. Yeah. And we get the CB here. Oh, yeah. What do you got? Uh, I don't little know. Cobra. Just a little Cobra. Very cool. It's like a stock. You got to have one of those. Yeah. The old school ashtray. Yeah, we got the older. old school. I like that seat. That's very comfortable. Um, you got your, you know, driver's station over there. Yeah. yeah. Nice cab overview. This is uh, a stock interior, except for the TV I changed. Yeah. And the floor. It used to have okay. white carpet all the way through. And we did oh, I love this little floor in here. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you, sir. It's like a house. Yeah. You get to learn how those lamps ride. You have to move so them. So this this is velcroed down, okay. so it doesn't really move. Um, storage. Mind if I walk through? Yeah, go ahead, walk through. Check it out. You got airplane storage here, so these these open up. Oh yeah, look at that. Gotta have that crock pot. Yeah. Wow. You got three roof airs on this unit. Oh, look at that. You've got an ice maker to your right. Where's that? Here. Oh, wow. It's got all the creature comforts. Yeah, and then you've got all your, you know, your kitchen, um, microwave convection, three-way refrigerator. Jeez. 
You've got an in. Uh, you've got an in. You've got an instant hot. So if we were plugged in, we could have instant hot water. Okay. Um, you. You've got your. You know your lights and stuff under here. These are all 12 volt lights. And these lights would be 120 volt lights, which wow. we can't turn on right now because okay. we're not running a generator. You've got. You know roof vents. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, stove, wow. propane stove. Jeez. This bathroom. Yeah. Bathroom. Vanity lights. Yeah. Huge bedroom. Yeah. Huge yeah. shower. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a full size shower. Yeah. Toilet. Yeah. We can we can go everywhere with it. You got a walk-in <laughs> closet too. Let me see. Wow. And what happens with this is, if you want privacy from the bedroom, oh, you yeah. can put that. You close it right off. And then this door closes. Okay. We'll give you a totally private bathroom. This bedroom. Wow. This is the way to go. Get the Bluebird plaque on the back. Yeah, that's a that's a Bluebird clock. I Queen size bed. To be pretty rare. Very cool. Very cool. Right, so where are a few of the places you've traveled with this motor coach? Well, I've only had this motor coach for about a uh, little over a year. So we've done about, my wife and I have done about uh, seven trips with it. We've been to Maine, New Hampshire, uh, Pennsylvania was probably our biggest trip. We, we, were, we were out there for a week. It was about 420 miles one way. Uh, we do have a big trip planned to Georgia, which we're going to do later on this year. And we're actually going to be going to a rally with all bluebirds. Really? it will be over a hundred and something coaches. That's gonna be uh, incredible. Yeah, so that'll be that'll probably be our biggest trip. And you know, I'm a working guy, so I'm not retired. I can't yeah. just do whatever I want. Sure. So I get a week here, a couple days there, and we're trying to I know the feeling. trying to get get around and, and, and have a good time. So Well I appreciate you showing me around. This is really uh really something. I've never seen a, a motor coach like this before in my life. Yeah, no problem. Thanks all for right. taking a look at Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right.